All right, guys, this is my pre-built HP stream computer, and this is what we're gonna be upgrading today. I'm gonna be taking out the processor, this capture card that we have here, and there's some RAM and stuff on the inside, you can see, so in the SSD. So we're gonna get right to that. Here she is before. <laughs> To show you some of the computer parts we're working with today we got the geforce gtx 1650 we got a brand new motherboard from avis if i said that right i don't know it's got two pcmi slots that's the motherboard we're gonna be putting in today we got our power supply corsair of course not the light up one but 750 amps i guess <laughs> And then we got some extra fans. They're not colored, they're just black ones, you'll see. We're gonna be putting a CPU cooler in, which is just the fan from that. Some thermal paste, just in case we need it. And the case that we got is the Carby 175R RGB series. So these are the parts we'll be using. All right, here's the computer we're gonna be taking the parts from, the processor, and all the other parts that I have in here. Show you guys this. So, we're gonna be taking off our internal capture card we got right here, the processor under the heat sink thingy, the SSD drive, this fan, there, and um, this controller right here. Together. You want to pull it out and stick it on the plastic it comes with, basically. We're going to start putting it together. There's a little arrow right here. And there's an arrow on the processor. Right there. And that's where it goes in. the CPU fan on. Thank you. 
come back over to this computer and get this M.2 drive out. And we're gonna go ahead and pull our RAM. install this M.2 drive right here. There's a thermal tape strip already included. said to put in the second and fourth slot so that's what we'll do <laughs> looks like we're about done with this motherboard for now looks like we can get it in the case so let's do that all right, so here's our case. We're gonna drop this board in and pray it fits. <music> Looks like it fits. We're gonna put the screws in and then uh, go from there. All right, we're gonna add internal capture card next <laughs> got that card in now we'll put a graphics card in next we'll come in with the graphics card open this bad boy up line it up where we need to put it. Pretty cool. Pretty cool part we got here. So it's gonna go in like so. We gotta add this power supply and pull off this glass. Check out where we are. I did install some of these wires down here. So basically that's all we're gonna be doing is installing wires from now on. So, so the Corsair power supply comes with these cords. You gotta plug in and a bag full of cords to hook up everything else. I'm not sure if you need everything because we don't have a hard drive, but I know you need most of them, so let's get the hook in. Oh.
B-Wire brand. So let's try to make this look pretty. Just plug in this graphics card and um, turn it on. Hopefully it works. Here's everything I got connected. Yeah, that CPU cord, it was just that one. I didn't see any of that four prong thing and then the CPU fan. And yeah. All right, now for the good part. Prints on the inside. <laughs> Woo. Also, we'll put on the screen and the front shroud. There we go, fans going in there, fans spinning right there. Looks like the other two CPU fans are spinning. Top fan spinning. Now let's just see. The screen comes on. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, we did it guys. All right, it turned on guys, so let's hit N. F1. All right, in the BIOS. I'm gonna exit. Oh, it's on, it's on. Guys, we got in, we're in the computer. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's really easy to build a computer, get out there and do it yourself by the parts. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Uh, I wanna thank you guys for watching and you guys are the best community I could have. I hope you enjoy the new computer and all the fun stuff we're gonna be doing coming up the next year. Appreciate you guys.